the King of the Whip 2022 at the craziest location I think you could have in South Africa. We're at Monte Casino in Johannesburg, and with me is the man who has put all of this together. <laughs> Ryan, I don't know how the hell you've done this, but you've done this for a fair few years now. King of the Whip, this is the fourth one, I believe. Yeah. How did you start out with such a concept? I mean, King of the Whip, or Best Whip, of course it's it's natural, but you've made this into an entire event. Um, I think it stems from the passion of me actually wanting to be able to do a whip when I got my first motocross bike, and I just can't get it done. But I mean, <laughs> I know that you know. So you know, just having the passion for it and being able to see someone whip a motocross a motocross bike is probably one of the best things you can you can witness. So back in 2017, we decided to put this event together, take the motocross riders, actually put them against the freestyle motocross riders, and see what happened. And 3,000 people pitched up to that event. So you know, we we saw there was a big interest there. Um, it's awesome for South Africans to come watch. And after doing the third event, Monte Casino, where we're at now, actually came and approached me and said, "Come and do the event here." So now we're at this location. We actually were supposed to do it in 2020, it got cancelled because of COVID. And now we are 2022, ready to go with 30 riders. They're going to throw down. So the first events that you did, that was in a, like a quarry, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in like this random little quarry in the middle of a suburb, and we managed to make it work there. A pretty dodgy landing. Um, it was free for all, so people came through with their, their cooler boxes, their beers, and just, you know, had a really good time. But that just sp that sparked that interest in, in what this event has become. So I guess you, you started small, you realized there was actually a passion from, you know, the riders here. Like, right, right in front of us actually is Scotty Billet, who won last year, but you've got, you've managed to get motocross teams here. You've got Monster Energy Yamaha, the full race team standing here. <laughs> yeah. Normally they're not going to let guys go jump ramps and you've managed sure. to do it. How did that happen? It wasn't easy. I mean, that's why we're doing this event at the end of the year. It's at the end of the motocross season. I actually had to go over a meeting with Monster Energy Yamaha as well as KTM and ask them if they're going to get their riders right. And the riders are obviously keen. No one's getting involved with this. They love it. And having that meeting and obviously showing them we're actually like, putting on a professional event here, they were happy to have the team a part of it. Yeah. Now, we've come into the fourth year. We're at Monte Casino. Tell me, what is this place all about? Because I just thought I drove to maybe Venice or Rome or something. Yeah. So Monte Casino is a casino venue in Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, you know, the whole place is booked, built to look like something out of Italy. You know, so that is, it's got an awesome backdrop. For us to be able to host this adventure is amazing. You know, where it was before was this random quarry crap in the background. Now we've got this really cool venue. The backdrop's gonna be amazing. The content that comes out from this is gonna be amazing. So we're just super happy to be here. How the hell did you get Julian Van Stippany? <laughs> well, Monster's a sponsor, and um, Monster didn't have a rider. Yeah, well, that, that was easy. Just slight, in slightly an... easy conversation. It started with uh, while I was overseas a couple of months ago. Um, but I, I mean, Monster obviously saw, saw the value in it, saw the value of having a, a Monster Energy rider here. For us to have him here, it's amazing. I mean, it's just going to take this whole event to the next level. Um, so yeah, happy as you are, and we'll see how many internationals we get next year. Well, that's it. I mean, you've got a ex current X Games gold medalist in Best Whip at your event. He's only the first, I mean, actually, no, there is a Ugandan rider I saw on the list yeah. as well, so it's a little bit international. I've already got messages. Kai Haas has already texted me, Tom yeah. Parsons yeah. texted me. So it already looks like there could be a bit of international it's flavor promising. next year. I mean, from our side, we're going to see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, it's a massive, it's 5,000 people sold out. Um, the interest is going to be there and it can only grow from you. So if we get those international riders here next year, it's going to be amazing. Like I said, we got Scotty Billet standing right in front of us. He's about to jump on for the next interview. It's going to be tough for Scotty to take the win because he won last year. He's <laughs> yeah, got he Dallin Goldman, who he would have been up against last yeah. year. He's now got a few more guys. Like we've seen Ryan Adler, this kid over here who's just stepped from a 125 yeah. to 250. There's racers who just are throwing down. What's Scotty going to have to do to pull this one out? Uh, you know, I've watched Scotty ride over a number of years, and he's got good variation. He's got an awesome style. So he'll be, he'll be up there. It's not going to be easy this year. I mean, you've got so many new riders that have come in, and they've just stepped up the game. It's actually incredible, especially in the motocross cars. Like, they're throwing whips that I, wouldn't, I thought I wouldn't have seen from them. So we'll see how it goes today. Scotty will be up there. Awesome. Thank you so much, Thank man. You. I know you've got a lot of work to do because, oh, God, everybody's trying to drag poor old Ryan this way, that way. Can't even get the people through the gates fast enough. What a horrible problem to have. 5,000 yeah, people terrible, sold out. Terrible. Thank you so much, <laughs> Awesome, man. Steve. Thank you.